Namaste, I'm Lauv and I'm here for the Fly Festival. Hi, welcome Hi. back to Bombay. So what are, you, what are you thinking about Bombay right now? It's really hot. <laughs> um, there's a lot of cute dogs. The food is really good. Yeah. What, what did you eat? Um, I tried, well I went to Bombay Canteen. Oh lovely. Yeah, that was really good. I tried like everything there. Um, I just tried, I forget what it was called, but I just tried this snack that was like a flat noodle wrapped up. Okay. With like spicy spice in it. It, starts with, it starts with a C. Anyways, okay, we will yeah. find out. So are you really tired of love songs? No, never. <laughs> never. Never. Have you ever written a love song for a crush? And what was it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, especially when I was a kid. I used to write songs about my crushes all the time. And yeah. uh, a recent song that we might know of? Um, that's written for a crush? Well, uh, there's definitely songs on my new album that are written for somebody that I uh, love a lot. Somebody yeah. special. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Yeah. What is the formula for a perfect pop hit? I don't know if there is one anymore. I think it's just, I think it's just iconic moment. Yeah. You need, you need like an iconic moment, I think. And I think it should be honest and should be easy for people to, to like sing along to or to, to like engage with yeah yeah what uh what are your main influences and favorite artists chris martin from coldplay is my number one john okay. mayer oh Paul i love Simon. him i just watched him in bangkok oh really awesome is he good yeah okay. he was yeah. good he was um good. yeah paul simon is a huge one for me um and then outside of music jim carrey i just love him i just think he's hilarious and i think <laughs> his mind is brilliant so yeah 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 so what would you like to tell your fans who are trying to make their dreams come true? What's one piece of advice? Okay, um, well I think there's always going to be a reason to quit, so yeah. that'll always be there. But if you decide that you want something bad enough, the, on like, the only thing that'll get in the way of that, if that makes sense, is it might take a lot longer than you want and it might, it might look differently than you want it to look and you have to be open to that, but unless you quit, then you're, the, nothing is actually stopping you. You know what I'm saying? So I know it sounds really generic and cliche, but I think it's really important to remember that, that like, as long as you keep going and as long as you're open to it changing and it not yeah. being exactly the way you thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Um, Things never happen the way we actually think no, they No, yeah, they, they don't, they, you know, it's not like that, but I think it doesn't mean it, you, you should give up, you know? Yeah, so. tell me about the new album. The new album is going to be very much a broader, a broader look at who I am as a person, as opposed to my last project, I Met You When I Was 18. Yeah. It's all about one girl and one relationship. <laughs> That's a, a little bit of an answer to my previous question oh, really? as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever write a song about a crush? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, pretty much that whole project was all about one, one girl. Um, so the al this album is about a lot more than that. You know, Drugs on the Internet is the first song off of it, and it's, um, yeah. So I'm just, I'm just really pumped. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you.